So my name is Joan Vorisenko, and my field has been mind-body medicine for the last 50 years. I'm a Harvard-trained cellular biologist and was a cancer cell biologist for many years. And then I became more interested in the person with cancer than the cancer itself. That was exactly what Candace Pert was most interested in. And it was emotions as the interface between mind and body. Candace and I not only shared a friendship, we shared an interesting history because we were both women in science in the 1970s, the 1980s, when there were not a lot of women in science. Uh, Candace laid the basis for really understanding that it was not only mind-body, but body-mind. And furthermore, there's now, uh, I'd say a further growth of the field that Candace was also very interested in, and that's called interpersonal neurobiology. If you ever saw the movie Dallas Buyers Club, the drug that the main character, that Matthew McConaughey, who played an AIDS patient, the drug he was trying to get and that he kept importing from Mexico for, for himself and other AIDS patients was in fact peptide T. It has tremendous anti-inflammatory properties. And since almost all chronic diseases share the final common pathway, and that's inflammation, peptide T is a very important drug. So Candace was an amazing woman. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh.